All right, guys, time to do kind of a long overdue video. Uh, <laughs> I've been promising this one for a while, and it's time to finally get it done. And that is to compare the velocities or ballistics from a uh, pistol caliber carbine to a standard uh, service style pistol. And so what, what I have here is I have a test that was done with four different guns. We have the M&P 9mm, which is a 4.25 inch barrel. We have the Marlin Camp 9, which is a 16 and a half inch barrel. We have the Feather Industries AT9, which is a 117, or no, 117, a 17 inch barrel. And then we have the Keltec Sub 2000, which is a 16.1 uh, inch barrel. And then we tested three ammunitions. Actually, I did a few other tests on a couple other ammunitions, and we'll show that here. I'll kind of mention that here towards the end. But uh, we have the um, Remington UMC. 115 grain full metal jacket, the Spear Gold Dot 124 grain plus P, and then we have the Winchester White Box, which is the uh, 115 grain full metal jacket as well. So now not all of these were tested out of these guns, but uh, you'll get a pretty good idea. We'll be able to interpolate most of the data. So uh, from the M&P 9 millimeter, which is a four and a quarter inch barrel, we gained 93% uh, of the factory stated number. So we actually came underneath the factory stated, um, which is pretty typical for, for these full metal jacket rounds. And that was uh, 313 foot-pounds versus 335 foot-pounds. Okay, so we actually came in below the factory stated numbers. Now with the Spear Gold Dot, we came in 2% higher um, than their factory stated numbers, which is we got 420 foot-pounds and they advertised 410 foot-pounds. So, um, and now Spear does a pretty good job with um, kind of uh, being realistic on their stated numbers. And they test from a four inch barrel. The M&P has a four and a quarter inch barrel, so that quarter inch might explain some of that uh, increase in velocity. Uh, now, next in the power level, so we're going from, from lowest power to highest power, we have the Marlin Camp 9, which gained 115, uh, gained 14% over the factory stated numbers so we get, um, of the UMC. So we're looking at 390 foot-pounds of energy versus 335, so we gained 14%. Uh, now on the Spirit Gold Dot, we gained 22%, and so we're looking at 500 foot-pounds of energy um, from that Spirit Gold Dot versus uh, the factory stated, which is 410 foot-pounds. And then finally, the Winchester White Box, we're looking at a 24% increase in, in uh, uh, power and velocity from... Uh, the factory stated, which is 362 foot-pounds of energy. Moving on up, we have the Keltec Sub 2000, which actually has a little bit shorter barrel than the Marlin Camp, um, and it's a 16.1 inch barrel. We're looking at 26% gain in over this uh, the Spear Gold Dot factory number. We're looking at uh, 516 foot-pounds of energy. That's pretty dang good. We are starting to encroach upon 357 numbers here, so we're looking at some pretty good velocity gains. Now the Winchester White Box. We're looking at 32% over the factory stated, so we're looking at almost 500 foot-pounds, about 480 foot-pounds of energy over the 362 foot-pounds of energy. So we're looking at a lot of gain from that uh, from that Caltech. Now, moving up even to the 17-inch barrel, we're looking at the UMC. We're getting 30% increase in energy. That's awesome. Now, look at the Spear Gold Dot. This is 146. We're gaining 46% energy over the factory stated. That's almost that's almost uh, half as much energy as a factory stated. Almost 600 foot-pounds of energy. That is hauling balls out of that barrel right there. That is really, really good amount of energy. And that is really where we're starting to see these pistol caliber carbines really starting to fly. I'd really like to get uh, some... Um, well, I'll, I'll, <clears throat> we shot the uh, Corbon out of there and I'll mention that here in just a second. But the Winchester White Box we gained 37% out of the 17-inch uh, barrel uh, feather. So pretty good gains guys now if we compare these percentages with what we got out of the pistol we're looking at a 23 percent gain um, over your fact your standard uh, service pistol in the marlin camp 9 the feather industry or the um, the Keltec, we're looking at 32 percent gains on average and the feather industries we're looking at 41 percent gain so this is really where the pistol caliber carbine kind of um, kind of pays for itself, okay? This is where uh, you, you see the advantages over your standard, um, you know, over just a, over a pistol, um, because you're looking, you're taking these these rounds, which are essentially, you know, fairly uh, uh, mid-range power-wise, and turning them into something that's that's quite a bit more ballistically capable. Um, these, 
this essentially turns these these rounds into a medium sized game. You could short uh, short range uh, hunting. You know, you could bring a medium sized you know deer down with with any of these that you see before you, out of um, one of these caliber pistol caliber carbines, and that's and that's huge. And you also have the advantage of having a cheaper round uh, being fired out of there. Nine millimeters one of the one of the most cost effective um, you know standard uh, cartridges out there on the market. Uh, it's also easy to to bulk up on for shiz hits the fan and for uh, um, other you know disaster type scenarios, um, and um, and yeah, I mean that that's that's huge, and that's why I'm I'm really starting to dig the uh, the pistol caliber carbines here for sure. Now we tested the 115 grain Corbon out of um, out of this uh, the Caltech sub 2000, and what I got was the factory stated number is let me just show you here is uh, 1350. Uh, uh, feet per second out of the um, uh, out of a four inch burr, I believe, is what Corbon tests. So that's 466 foot pounds, right? So out of the um, Keltec Sub 2000, we got 1541 feet per second, and that equated to 606 foot pounds of energy. That is huge, guys. Huge. That's approaching on uh, 10 millimeter range um, <laughs> energies. So, I mean, we're talking just just really really good energy coming out of out of these uh, longer barrels so anyway guys I really encourage you to take a, a real uh, close look into the pistol caliber carbines you know there's several out there available I've given you three examples um, today of them and uh, you know something that you might want to consider as a you know as a survival rifle or you know just like a, a shiz hits a fan it's it's gonna excel in every category okay over over your standard nine millimeter pistol it's gonna excel in uh, personal defense home defense um, you know uh, property defense you name it um, it's also going to you're, you're also able to encroach into the hunting arena with uh, these these rifles as well so Anyway, guys, uh, what I want you to do is if you really like this video, go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, because if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, you can hear my kids upstairs make a noise. <laughs> but anyway, um, I really want to hear from you. If, you. if you leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And as always, guys, I really, really, really appreciate you guys watching. So thanks very much, and we will catch you in the next video. See ya.